It's been 10 years since the zombie apocalypse. Oh my god, we're back again. And this dysfunctional family... Merry Christmas! Do you know what I would like? I don't give a fuck what you'd like. ...has survived by using their wits. <gasps> Please forgive me! It's fake fur! And by following the rules. The rules are for pussies. Nothing personal. How could that not be personal? That's like my whole thing. Yeah, you're right. It's personal. On October 18th, what made you do it? And don't say the script. Can this be just between us? Drugs cost money. Didn't see that coming, right? New kind of zombies, stronger, faster, better adapted to the hunt. They are much more afraid of us than we are of them. You'll be the first to die, but I like your enthusiasm. You might die. Yeah, thank you for your sacrifice. From the director of Venom. Need a ride? Oh, yeah. And writers of Deadpool. Casablanca. Oh, God. Well, I think I would have made a damn fine president. I think those cigars were left over from the Clinton administration. <laughs> Academy Award nominee, Woody Harrelson. Let's kick some dick. Academy Award nominee, Jesse Eisenberg. Right now? Right now. Academy Award nominee, Abigail Breslin. You don't have weed, do you? <laughs> Boom! And Academy Award winner, Emma Stone. Zombieland Double Tap. Time to nut up or shut up. That thing's very 2009. <laughs>
you got the charbon on your side. I don't know how to have more fun while doing work, you know what I mean? It was just so fun, those guys, they make you laugh all day long. I feel really blessed to be a part of it. Well, I don't think any of us would have done it unless everybody was in, so it was very important. Uh, and it is a family, you know? It's a great great family that I, uh, I love hanging out with, so I hope this one's a hit so we get to do a third one. I mean, all of us are always trying to think how to make this or that funnier. You know, we, we uh, you know, we want to obviously ground it in as much, uh, you know, verisimilitude as you can handle under these circumstances, but uh, to definitely look for the humor. 
I kind of put myself in their shoes because when I saw it, I didn't know exactly what to expect, even though we did shoot it, you know, and uh, I can tell you it is a very pleasing experience because I, I didn't know what to expect when I saw the first one. But Reuben Fleischer is, uh, he's a magician and he just makes, it's, it's comedic gold, but it's also, you know, in places very touching and uh, I, I think it's a wonderful movie. It'll make you laugh. It's not, every once in a while you go, ah, yikes, but uh, mostly I think people just laughing. Very fun. Very, very fun to all be together again. It was awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think that the, the only way we wanted to come back to do another one was if it had the spirit of the original, which is, you know, uh, very funny and obviously has a lot of action with zombie kills, but at the center of it is a lot of heart and, um, you know, finding the people that you that you love and you want to stick with no matter what the world kind of presents to you. So uh, I think that the the sequel, the, you know, Double Tap, really does capture the spirit of the first. And, um, yeah, it was just, it was vital to all of us or else we couldn't have made it. So many great people. Yeah, Zoe Deutsch is just brilliant and so, so funny in the movie. And, um, and Rosario Dawson is brilliant. Thomas Middleditch and Luke Wilson. Like, just so many wonderful people that all were, like, fit in like gangbusters. It was fantastic. I hope they just have fun and they laugh and they feel like they're escaping, you know, this crazy world for a little while. To another crazy world. It's post-apocalyptic, to be fair, but still. <laughs> the thing I really like about the comedy of this movie is that it, like, it allows for, like, highbrow, obscure humor. I have a John Steinbeck reference halfway through that I can't imagine how many people would understand or, under, you know, or, or acknowledge. But, um... Yeah, so like this kind of comedy is unusual in that it accounts for like or allows for highbrow comedy even though we're being chased by zombies and people are throwing up and everything. I think this movie is like a kind of a way for people to ha watch a kind of warm family story but without thinking that they're watching that, you know, so it almost feels like they're just watching this kind of cool, you know, violent movie but actually what they're watching and why they like, why they like it is because it's very sweet. I don't think we would ever have done the movie if all four of us didn't agree to do it. And it was just great, especially because we had waited 10 years because we were trying to get the script right. And several writers did different drafts. And then finally, Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, who are here, who wrote uh, this movie and, Zom and uh, Deadpool and the original Zombieland, um, came back and wrote a great script. And we were kind of so relieved and then excited to do it. This woman who plays like my girlfriend, Zoe Deutsch, is in it. She's unbelievably hysterical. The other guy who I really work off with and who's new is Thomas Middleditch, who plays like my doppelganger in the movie. And he's just a brilliant comedian and uh, actor. And he just uh, was, he's fantastic in the movie. And uh, it, you know, having like um, that change the dynamic that we had from the first movie was uh, really welcome. I just hope audiences laugh as much as we did when we were making it and when I was reading it and when I was thinking about it. Like, to me, it was like, had to be as funny as the first one, which I thought was so great and as sweet. And um, so, and I remember while we were filming it, we kept feeling like, okay, yes, it feels right. It feels good. And so I hope people like it as much as we did. Yes, okay, yeah, we're in California, allegedly, and we're at the premiere of Zombieland Double Tap, and there are these buses with the logo on it to let us know that that's what is gonna be here. I am so excited that we're at the world premiere of Zombieland Double Tap. It has been, it feels like it's been a really long time coming, so 10 years, yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> it, it was awesome, honestly, like, you know, as soon as we all got back together, it, it really didn't take us a lot of time to like, just, it felt like we really did kind of pick up right where we left off, but then we also had these awesome new cast members brought into the mix who just kind of just added to our kind of crazy family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that at the heart of it, it really is about these four people just trying to survive, and it just happens to be under extremely insane circumstances with zombies trying to kill us, but the relationships are really human and real, and I think are still relatable even in such an unlike believable world. The fact that it's Little Rock kind of wanting to run away and, you know, leave the nest, so to speak, is is very true to kind of 
where she would be at in this stage of her life. You know, everybody feels like at a certain age they want to get a boyfriend or whatever. And so it's kind of it's kind of awesome that she was able to find him so quickly. As my 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 biggest like good girl, go <laughs> go little rock. Everything that you love about the first movie, but like bigger and better and double the fun. <laughs> It's a very cool and very exciting experience. Uh, they have uh, monster trucks and all types of buses and stuff from the movie. Uh, it's cool. We get the whole street. So, you know, it's going to be fun. Oh, they're great. I mean, uh, Woody and, uh, and Abby and Emma and Jesse, it was really cool welcoming family atmosphere. I mean, I, I, I get yelled at by Woody Harrelson for a whole movie, so that's, that's not bad. I think it's a really fun, light fair, man. It's, like, it's a good time. And, uh, you know, we need uh, fun, light movies, and it's nice to uh, be a part of something that's going to make people smile and laugh and have a good time. We are at the world premiere of Zombieland Double Tap. It's very exciting. It's super exciting. It was beyond thrilling. I'm such a fan of everybody involved in the original and and when i watched the first movie i i i felt such a just i just I, it seemed like they were having a blast while shooting it and i was right and i joined in it was they are they were certainly having a blast they're just the best people the ogs ruben and emma and woody and jesse and abigail are so welcoming and so generous and they made everybody feel immediately at home and a part of the family there's so much heart and there's so much love um, in this family and there happen to be zombies and a lot of action but that's why it really worked. That's why the first worked and that's why the second works as well. If you loved the first, you're going to friggin love this one and if you didn't see the first, you're also going to friggin love this. Oh man, we're at the Zombieland Double Tap premiere and we're having a ball. Well, you've got a star-studded cast with a bunch of great uh, jokes and bits and sequences. I mean, it's a real, it's a, well, it's a high octane ride. <laughs> yeah, man, it's going to be great. Futureprevews.com. Go behind the scenes of movies. Subscribe to Future Flicks YouTube channel.